What's up, peeps? Mike Vips here. Today I have a all-in-one device to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Anakin. It is the Z-Beep all-in-one device designed by Phil and Dimitri, the vaping Greek, Phil Basardo. Yes, the dynamic duo, baby. So let's not waste any time. Let's go straight to the dive down. I'll show you guys the ins and outs of this all-in-one device. We'll come back, vape on it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Z Beep by Inikin. And here's the packaging, the Z Beep by Inikin, Phil Basardo, and Dimitri, the vaping Greek, comes in. Inside the packaging, you're gonna get a little love letter from Phil and Dimitri. And then on the other side, we'll have a little QR code or website where you could go on their website, on Inikin's website, and see a tutorial on the device itself. We do have the coil here, little coil information. We'll tell you pre-installed will be a 0.48Z Plex 3D coil, 13 to 16 watts. And then they got the 1.6 ohm Canto coil for a cooler vape, 10 to 14 watts. You'll also get this little envelope here. It's gonna have a lot of battery safety information and probably some stickers inside there and a little user manual. And here is the Canthal coil that they provide. I don't know if I mentioned already, but pre-installed will be the mesh coil. A little O-ring. I'll show you guys what this spare O-ring is for. And you also get this little bottle for, I guess, if you got a certain bottle to fill it and you don't like it, you could always throw your liquid inside here by removing this piece right here. You just pop this off and you put your own liquid in there and you could carry your liquid around to refill your device. And here is the Z-Beep. I know people are gonna be like, Mike, that doesn't say beep. That says like bip or something like that. Zebip. But no, it's Z beep. They tried to get it to be called the beep, B E E P, but I guess it was trademarked already. So they had to do it this way. And the reason it's called the beep is because it beeps, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But here it is. You can see there, it's a heavy device, 1500 milliamp hour battery. It's pretty big. And this is not considered a pod system, all right? This is not a pod system. This is an AIO, all-in-one device. We do have our fire bar here on one side, and on the other side, one of these are the fire bar. Let's see. Actually, this one's the fire bar. So they both look the same, but when you're holding it in the hand, all you gotta do is just squeeze. And no matter what you do, you'll always be able to fire this when it's in your hand. You do have a USB charge port there, Indican branding. On the bottom here, you do have an on and off switch, and that's for the beeping. All right, so it's got beeping that it does, and it's for certain things, which I think it's pretty cool because a lot of times we don't realize, like for example, these lights are your battery indicators, and from what I understand, the device will not understand. I know that when you reach, uh, for example, 50% battery life, it'll give you a couple of beeps. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's two beeps that it does. Well, yeah, below 50% is two beeps. And then it'll do, uh, when it's below 20%, it'll give you three beeps. All right. And then when uh, while you're charging it, and it's fully charged, so this way you don't keep it plugged in while it's like fully charged, it'll beep five times letting you know, hey, your device, it's fully charged, which is pretty cool. And it'll give you one beep when you remove the pod. Actually, when you install the actual, I'm not going to call it a pod, a tank, when you install your tank it'll give you one beep letting you know that the connection has been made so let's stop babbling we have a little like top dust proof thingy over here our mouthpiece love the mouthpiece this mouthpiece was designed doesn't matter if you put it this way in your mouth that way that way sideways it's going to feel comfortable love the design the way they did this so to remove your tank you're simply just gonna wherever your fire button is if i'm not mistaken you're gonna go like this. You see what I just did? It just lifted up on one side. Now that it's lifted up, I could pull it out. And you're gonna have this little uh, plastic sticker thingy. That's basically when you first get it as protection. So you have our contacts on the inside. There's our three contacts. And it doesn't matter which way you put it in, it's still gonna work. So now when I do place this in, it should beep. But I'm not gonna press the fire button. See that? It just beeped and let me know that it made connection, but I do not want to press that fire button. I think it's, I, yeah, it is off right now because it will, will burn out the coil that's inside there. So that's the way you remove it. Let's look at the actual tank section 
And I like that they went with the clear tank. So this way you'll be able to see what liquid you have inside there. You can see there's a V shape here. And this V shape, this part over here is where you'll be able, is right here where you're able to see your liquid. You can see that you still have liquid inside there. So I like the way they designed that. We do have over here on our contact area, airflow control. We have three holes. They're about one millimeter each, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so you could do it three holes open. You're, get, you're getting a nice mouth to lung draw with this. Not tight, a little on the loose side, which I actually kind of been digging the three holes on this. But if you want to go tighter, obviously you could drop it down to two or drop it down to one. Let's see if we can focus in there. And obviously you could also fine tune that one hole if you want it to be very, very tight. So to get inside this, you're going to simply turn. All right, your airflow control ring contact thingy comes off. And this basically takes, it's the Zenith coils. It's the Plexus, the Plexus 3D coils inside here. Same coil that's in the Zenith tank. And I think their new tank, the Zlide. So yeah, I like what they did here. It's just a regular coil head that's already accessible, already sold in stores. So big pro in my book with that. Pre-installed is that 0.48. Uh, mesh 3D coil. And basically, you have an O-ring right inside here. That's the spare O-ring that they give you. And from what I understand, and that's the, like this whole mounting system. Everything is the same as the Zenith and the slide tank. And that O-ring is the same one that's provided. So the way they did it was obviously they took that the whole concept and just threw it into, uh, we'll call it right now, a pod-like. But it's not a pod because... It's an all-in-one. This one here, you could actually replace the coils, which is not considered, in my opinion, I don't think it's considered a pod. So after you filled it up, make sure you prime the coil. You're going to drop some liquid inside there and just pop it right into place. Then you're just going to screw this together. I'm going to show you guys right now how to fill this. And here's the one I've been using. This one here, I think it's called like a, what is the name of this? Bronze, I think. The Bronze Dune. That's what it's called. Bronze Dune. Z-Bip. Love this color right here. Love it. And when you have this piece on here, it actually looks like a nice high-end bottle of cologne. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, to fill this, simple. Simple to fill. It's easy. It's simple and easy to fill. Did I just say, like, simple and easy like a thousand times? Because it is. All right? You're simply just going to turn. And you fill, which is awesome. You got a little... uh do we call this like a, our opening? It's a big opening, but they got like a membrane on that. So this way, you don't have liquid just overfill while you're filling it. But it's pretty cool. It's easy for you to just get inside there and just fill it. And you'll know when it's full because you'll see a little bit of liquid start coming out of there. When you see that, let go and it'll suck back. Suck back. Your bottle will suck back that excess. And then after you filled it, and I don't know if you could see it, this part is a little bit elevated. So as soon as I turn this, you're going to see the top drop. See it? it? Just dropped right into place. So pretty cool. I love the top fill on this thing. Pretty awesome. And obviously to remove your pod, simply just do that. Did I just call it a pod? Sorry, I meant a tank. So now we just put this together. Beep. I love the beep. <laughs> so we have uh, little light indications here. One, two, three. All right, now it's powered off. One, two, three. The lights come from the bottom up, showing you it's powered on. So we're going to power it off. One, two, three. And you're going to notice right here, there's a little light. As you guys saw me powering it on and off, the light was flashing. Now, if you keep the fire button just pressed while it's off, it'll cycle through different ones. You got red, blue, and green. So I just let go, and I left it at red. So now when I click it three times, red on here indicates, if I'm not mistaken, it's 16 watts for red, um, medium is 14 watts, and low is 11 watts. So recommended when using the coil pre-installed to use anywhere between the 14 or the 16 watts for it. And when you're using the spare coil, the Canto coil that's provided, that one there is going to be uh, more for a cooler vape. Suggested for that one will be either low 11 watts or medium, which is 14 watts. And one more thing I almost forgot to mention is liquid capacity. On this here, it is 2 ml liquid capacity. And from what I understand in the future, 
they're gonna have uh, tanks or pods, whatever you guys want to call them, that are gonna be a little bit taller. I think they're gonna fit, I think, if it's not mistaken, it's either three or four ml. But the only thing with those, when you do have it in, it's this part here, this clear part's gonna be a little bit taller. So you figure it'll be up to here, where you could see where it's gonna be clear, and then you'll see this top piece. So it's gonna look a little strange, but at least you'll get a bigger capacity uh, liquid-wise inside here. And that's gonna be a separate purchase if you choose to please. All right, guys, that was the Z Beep by Inigan, Phil, and Dimitri. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close. Z Beep by Inik and Mike, your thoughts on this one. Alrighty, cons for this setup right here, which there ain't much for me to complain about. Really, this thing just works beautifully. The only con I could think of for this, and this is more of a subjective, how people are gonna feel about it, it is a big device. But this is gonna be because people are gonna confuse it and think that, Oh, that's a big pod system. It's not a pod system. That's the whole point. It's not a pod system. It's an all-in-one device. Basically, as you can see here, with this, I could replace the coil like you saw in the up and close. Now, it is a big device because of that reason. This piece is huge, as you can see there, where your coil head, it's got a regular coil head inside here. So they had to make it big. You can see how much room that takes up, how low it goes inside, just for this to be able to house inside there and it beeps yeah so i'm not going to give it a pro or a con on that one but i have to say the battery life this is where we're going to go into a pro 1500 milliamp hour battery for an all-in-one device for me is a big pro now this is where the downfall is is because how big it is only holds two mls of e-liquid i was thinking this was good at least at least four to five mls but no it's only two mls so that's the only complaint i could see with it other than that, filling this thing, I love it. That's when we go into pros. I love this turn and fill. It's a simple and easy, big pro. That's big pro in my book. The mouthpiece is another big pro. I, I'm not really the biggest fans of those mouthpieces that are like, I don't know how to explain them, long and round. I like the way they designed this. It's perfect. It don't matter which way I go with it. It could be side or like this. It doesn't matter. It's completely rounded off all around, and it's a comfortable mouthpiece. Pro. The simplicity of the device. Three clicks on, three clicks off. While it's off, hold the fire button down, and you can scroll through your different wattages. Pro. Another pro is you could adjust wattages. Big pro in my book. Another pro is going to have to be the beeping. This is where people are going to be like, eh, what's the big deal that it beeps? I like the beeping, especially, especially when you have it charging and it's fully charged. It'll beep five times. I'd be like, oh, it's it's charged. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? And so it's a nice little alert to have. So in my opinion, that's a big pro. Also, battery life. What if it's, I hear it beeping and it's like, oh, I just hit under 50%. So this way you, you get a basic idea of where you are with your battery life. That's a big pro. Now, the part where the pod makes contact like this and it beeps, that's the only one that I kind of think would be gimmicky. But it's really not gimmicky. It's just basically letting you know that everything is all set to vape. Your your coil is in perfectly. You're making connection. You're ready to go. So yeah, I'm going to have to give that one a pro. Another pro I'm going to have to give him is the looks. I love these colors, especially this one. This is Out of all the colors, this was my favorite color when I first saw them. And when I got it and I saw the color, I was like, yeah, they sent me the one I actually wanted to have. This is beautiful looking. I think it's a beautiful color. All their color options. Big pro. One other thing I wanted to mention that might turn some people off with it would be uh, the weight. It is a little bit on the heavy side, and it is a little bit on the fat side, you know? And again, I'm going to stress it. This is not considered a pod system. This is an all-in-one device. Now, we're going to go to uh, another pro with this. You could actually charge and vape at the same time. You could do that with Indican products. And if you're not into the beeping sounds and you don't want to hear those beeps, you got an on and off switch on the bottom. You can shut the beeping off and just use it without it beeping. So, pro. Mike, how's the flavor? How's the pull? How's the airflow? Did we mention we have also adjustable airflow in here, which is another pro? There you go, pro. So, I have all three fully open right now. I'm going to take a vape. 
Beautiful. Now I'm going to cut down the airflow. All I got to do is pop it up, do one of these. I'll take the three holes, I'll put it to two holes. Pop it back in, make a beep, and vape. For me, I think two holes on this is perfect. That's where I like it. Even three holes. I don't mind three, but two is perfect. One, you're getting that tight mouth-to-lung vape. I tend to like that, the one hole, the, that tight mouth-to-lung vape, but with something like this and the coil, because I'm using the uh, Plexus, not the Plexus, the, uh, the Mesh 3D, whatever it's called, uh, my mind went blank, but it's a 0.48 resistance. I feel I need a little bit more airflow with this. I am running it at the highest wattage you could do it. So the two air flows on this, perfect. Flavors on point with it. I have, uh, what do I have in here? Nilla Killer, 18 milligram. It's a beautiful vape. All in all, I think they did a great job with this. I wish you guys all the success with this. This is actually a nice little device. Biggest pro of all is you ain't got to go searching for coils. If you already have Zenith coils, Though these coils are already accessible. They're from other tanks of theirs, and it's compatible with this, which in my opinion is the biggest pro of it all. So all in all, great device. Phil, Dimitri, and I can wish you guys the best of luck with the Z Beep. All right, so price on this, I see it on Element Vape for like $44. $44 on Element Vape. All right, so in the description below, there'll be no links to vape products because I'm not allowed. It's YouTube policy. Just my links down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.